Hey everyone, Did you Roll Guide here, and today is March 22nd, and I finally got a toy in, and if you follow me on Facebook or Twitter, you know what it is already. Um, definitely check me out on there. Um, basically, when I was in Vegas playing with uh, Blizzard and Rain, uh, I fell in love with the Rain 62, and I had to have one. So, after uh, Las Vegas, I ordered one through Bernie at Audio Lines, of course. And um, they're on back order, actually, um, because they're that popular. So definitely get your orders in as soon as possible. But I have mine here. Um, I just cracked the tape on it. So let's go ahead and unbox the damn thing. Okay, so here's the box. It's a standard, pretty boring box, but it says rain. So uh, we're going to make it rain over here. Corny, but amazing. Anyway, uh, cardboard. Get your Serato records. I think these are just blacks, nothing fancy. Standard black Strata records. Your uh, quick start guide. Your 62 manual. You've got Scratch Live 2.4, which is very important because that's the only version that works with this mixer. But I went ahead last night, and knew, since I was tracking this thing like it was Christmas morning, um, I knew it was coming today. So, um,. I went ahead and uh, updated to 2.4 over the internet. You can download it from Serato.com as well. You have your control CDs and your uh, warranty registration. You have two USB cables because this is the 62, not the 61, so you have two USB ports on the back for two DJs. And uh, actually I have DJB coming over tomorrow to uh, do some videos on that. And we got a standard IEC, as if we don't have enough of these IECs. And I believe that is everything. So now, the mixer itself. It is a rather large two-channel mixer. It is ten and a half inches wide and a hair bit longer. Um, exact dimensions, I'm not sure, but I just know it's ten and a half inches wide. Um, it does fit in ten inch mixer uh, cases. Um, you just have to do a little bit of trimming, but hang on. Okay, so a quick overview of the mixer itself. This is Rain, a Rain mixer. It's made in America, and the one uh, thing that I love about these mixers is that um, they have not only just the crossfader, but the upfaders are the magnetic faders that run, rain, rain, run, <laughs> that rain is known for. Um, there's no contact between the mixer itself and this, uh, this fader. It is like freaking butter. Paula Dean would lick it thinking it's butter. Um, and another cool feature is on the front, you have your crossfader curve and you have individual fa uh, upfader curves um, for channel 1 and channel 2. Also while I'm here, 8th inch headphone input and quarter inch. On the top, everything's really co color coordinated. Um, anything white or the light gray is um, level or gain oriented. Um, your blue is anything effects. So the blue, big blue knobs are filters, um, excuse me, filters for channel one, channel two, and your mic. And then you also have the level depth or um, wet dry knob for your effects section. Um, I'll go over this more in depth in the future, but uh, I just, I'm just going over everything real br briefly here. Um, your display for your effects, you have your filter, flanger, phaser, echo, robot reverb, and then you could also insert effects from Serato, which is awesome as well. Your uh, Q buttons for your cues, as well as A, B, C, D for your samples. Um, just trying to remember vaguely what this, oh, what I did with this thing in Vegas. Um, you have your flex, uh, flex effects or your effects section engage for channel one, channel two. Um, it goes on your mic as well, and um, all, all your different stuffs. Uh, you have your input choices as well as your USB A, USB B uh, choices on there which is an awesome, awesome feature. And then of course you have a control section for your library as well as loops on both sides, either for deck one and deck two, or if you have both computers hooked up, you have controls for computer A and computer B. So anyway, I'm gonna go get this hooked up. Um, as you can see real quick, I have taken out my 400 and all the cables and my SL3. They're sitting right there waiting to go to the next owner. SL3 I'm keeping, but uh, the SL1's going away. So anyway, uh, let's get this thing hooked up. Okay, everyone, so this is what my coffin's now going to look like. 
Um, I have to clean to clean up a little wires, do some rewiring, and maybe some drill some holes back further back because right now this is raised up a little bit higher. But like I said, uh, this mixer is 10.5 inches wide, so actually I had to take out those foam things, cut them in half, and I got them stick stuck in here. I got to move them so they're a little bit higher on both sides. So it's a nice snug fit, but it's sitting a little higher because right now it's sitting on top of some cords uh, due to the fact that um, the cords all bunch in on the sides right about here. Anyway, the mixer is about three inches uh, longer or so than uh, my Pioneer. So also, uh, this is a little bit more scrunched in the back, but due to the, to the fact that there's all these little controls for the library and searching and stuff up here, I really don't need my computer right here anymore. So. I'm really, I'm not going to miss that and I'm not too concerned. Um, coming up next week is my spring break, so I'll hopefully have a, a lot of videos of this thing coming up soon. So there you go guys, the Rain 62. Practice and enjoy.